Okay, previously I've discussed uh, a lot of things about consequentialism. I've discussed some utilitarianism. I've uh, I've discussed a lot of that. You can find that in my ethics playlist. Uh, you can find all that there. I have like 18, video, 18 ethics videos there. Um, but I want to go further into utilitarianism based on... Um, based on... Because um, I want to discuss the works by John C. Harsanyi. Um, this, the work I'm referring to is Does Reason Tell Us What Moral Code to Follow? And indeed, and to, f to follow any moral code at all. Um, he's not... Basically, what's being discussed here is all of morality and just thinking about, like, reason in general, you know, using reason to calculate things out to whatever moral theory you're following, you know, using reason to calculate what actions are... Uh, have confer the most rightness and goodness. But in the way that Harsani discusses this is with u with utilitarianism. And uh, along with this video, there's a, a, J, uh, a, a person named Smart, JJC Smart, or, yeah, so something like that. Uh, they, uh, he, there was a, there's a paper by that, by that person, uh, which discusses a different, you know, discussion of utilitarianism between extreme and restricted utilitarianism. And, um, but I, but I want to discuss utilitarianism with Harsanyi's discussion between act and rule. This is what act and rule is. Act and, act, act utilitarianism and rule utilitarianism, which makes me want to discuss further just whether reason can, you know, just whether what what reason you know has w with morality what 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 uh, place reason has in in figuring out morality and rightness and wrongness um what you what utilitarianism is well I've discussed con consequentialism which is um, placing good and conferring goodness and rightness based on certain outcomes um, like for example a hedonist uh, is a is consequentialist because they base the good to be the pleasure the most the most pleasurable and the best most most pleasurable outcomes that confers goodness for hedonist consequentialists and for desire theorists um, it would be getting getting your certain desires than the most desires uh, would be the best outcome because that would go for the good you know what utilitarianism? What what utilitarianism is? I have a I have a couple of videos about about specific the specifics of what utilitarianism util, utilitarianism is by itself, without discussing specifics. Uh, I have a couple of those. You can again find those in the ethics playlist. But uh, it places the good on outcomes of social util, utility uh, or or utility basically and y utility and social utility can is can be discussed as a lot of things you know they can be uh, pleasures good desires um, possible perfectionist ideas you know a lot of things like that can be can be y utility but what I want to discuss here is act utilitarianism and rule utilitarianism, which are for Harsanyi models of rationality. Um, act utilitarianism is um, looking at all of the possible actions and calculating them out in the spur of the moment. Um, this is opposed to rule utilitarianism because the rule utilitarianism has a formal code of conduct a moral code which is already formulated which is what you fall back on um, which is what you use to govern things a rule utilitarian would use that moral code that probably most likely the more consequential utilitarian moral code to uh, use that to fall back to fall back on um, which, which you know, because if you have rule, the the rule form, 
you're having a constant model to fall back on. You're using this model to govern everything. This is very debatable because how can you put all of your faith in any normative theory or in any, more, any normative moral code? Because there's going to be faults, there's going to be issues. Uh, there's going to be problems. And, uh, be, but then there's problems with the act form also. Because what an act utilitarian will be doing is be looking at, because basically what, a, what any utilitarian will do is that they will look at various actions and they will look at outcomes of social utility or outcomes of utility and they will act based on getting the most utility out of certain outcomes. Because that, for them, is what the, was what the good is. Now, this is not my opinions. I, I'm not a consequentialist. I am a Kantian ethicist. I'm a deontological... I, 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 I believe in deontological eth ethics. I believe in Kantian ethics, but... Uh, the, what I'm thinking, what I, what I want to discuss here is utilitarianism w w with the act rule uh, divide. And the problem is with when you have, I think the both sides of this is kind of faulty because if you have the act form, all you're doing is you are, you don't have time to always just calculate everything out based on your your, your outcomes of social utility. You don't have time to do that all the time. You don't have you don't have time to figure out everything. You don't have time to calculate the stuff out all the time, and uh, it's difficult to do that too because there's there's difficult decisions in life, and uh, basically what would it act utilitarian or an act ethicist will be doing is that they will be calculating things all the time because they don't because they don't think that any kind of moral code is suitable to do that now what I'm thinking here is if you know if you're if you are any kind of ethicist at all I think you should not go either way I mean whether you're a consequentialist utilitarian or a deontological ethicist whatever you whatever you are I don't think that you should go to the act form or the rule form entirely, uh, because now I'm talking. I'm talking about this with respect to you, to utilitarianism because it's kind of good for this kind of normal, normal, uh, normative theory because we're talking about outcomes okay. of social utility. So it's kind of difficult to act, even more difficult to act things out because you, you don't have constraints and duties which will figure things out for you, but. You, you shouldn't you shouldn't go one way entirely with the act rule model because you're going to end up I think you should try to at least be an act ethicist or an act utilitarian if you are a utilitarian you should be an act utilitarian always to some degree because there's going to be issues with whatever normal uh, normative code you, you choose but uh I don't know, I, I wanted to discuss this because this is a good way to look at utilitarianism because if you are a, a utilitarian, then there's, there's a, it's, it, it's a difficult thing, thing, to, thing to discuss because it, I, th I find it, I mean, looking at consequentialism at, as opposed and utilitarianism as opposed to other normative theories, uh, there, it, there's, di there's difficulty here because uh, there's difficulty because you have uh, less constraints, but there's problems of common, common sense, whatever common sense morality you have, of how much, how, how uh, if you have any simple consequentialism in you, uh, if you, you know, there's a lot more to think about, I think, because you have less constraints. And, uh, and I think it's, I mean, I, I would I would talk about this with the whole broad spe broad spectrum of, of, of ethics, but I think it, it looks good this way. But um, tell me, tell me, what, tell me what you think about this because uh, I think it's I think it's you should use both ones, and then if you if you can't figure things out all the time because no one can just sit there and figure moral outcomes and moral shit out all the time. You can't do that all the time. Um, so you have to have some kind of moral code or 
theory to, back, to fall back on to govern your actions when you haven't the time to to calculate the things out. So you have to have some kind of, you have to pick one which is you find most suitable, which is has less errors, um, which will come into less problems. You know, anyway, have a great day.